of our engineer from about uh, 10, 12 years have worked with different technologies from the UI side, from the backend side, but I love the most from the front, front end side. Today, we're going to uh, give a, a, a little dig in into my topic that is from about the architecture projects. Let me share my screen. Let me let me know if you are able to see my screen. Oh, sorry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll see. OK. OK, well, let's get started. Uh, the topic is how to create a good enterprise software architecture for Angular projects. Why Angular? Because I think it is a, it is a framework, a, a good framework to create uh, easy uh, bigger applications. I mean, I'm not. Uh, I'm not saying that uh, uh, React or Vue are bad, but I think Angular has the whole tools uh, to to combine a different uh, kind of uh, uh, elements that you can that that can help you to create a, a very good enterprise project and also a good structure using what it's have. So oh, we're digging a little bit. So the first part is, okay, where these all come from. Okay, so if everyone know, everything comes from this guy, Tim Berners-Lee in 1988, 89. Uh, they, they, they want to create something to communicate or uh, to share info about the different uh, necessities. I mean, to, to combine elements and display images or, show some texts uh, i mean we we're talking about the early 90s so they create the world wide web uh, as an element they just created a, a a document to read from the from the web browser and it was uh just as plain text you mean it was just only informative we we were not uh able to see too much uh dynamic dynamic elements or any other things it was static so uh, at the past of the years, we, we need a, another, another features, another uh, elements to, to help us to provide a rich uh, enhancement to the browser. So that's why in 1995, uh, they created JavaScript. Well, not they, another, another person created JavaScript to help to create uh, another features to the, to the browsers. And it was not to the early uh, 20s, that uh, EdmaScript was created. I mean, uh, uh, the standard to create some uh, structure elements to help a community to provide a different uh, uh, tools that help help us to reach these JavaScript languages. So they uh, introduced the DOM also uh, to help to to manipulate the elements. Every every everyone knows the DOM is our our best friend. And uh, they all combine and help us to create another version of JavaScript. And, and it was called vanilla JavaScript, that it was the the main one that is uh, to help us to evolve to another to another topics. So we were uh, working with different uh, technologies. I don't know if everyone uh, have uh, used the Angular, I mean, H HTML one, two, three, four, until five, we we have a better better enhancement, and also we had another technologies like jQuery, uh, Angular JS was the first version, and then uh, for Angular specifically, we had TypeScript. That was one of the one of the first of main frameworks that introduced TypeScript as its as its main JavaScript language. What it is TypeScript? just an extension from javascript i mean it, it, it what what the types come from is because it's a, it's a javascript model but uh, with a with with a a type you know it's like uh um it, using um annotations this is a, a, the, the the main word annotations what is annotation uh, to create uh um different variables or, or structures to set a very good uh um projects and elements that help us to 
to get a better enhancement of the product. I mean, we we uh, we avoid a lot of errors, have a better uh, design of the code, have a better structure or definition. So TypeScript helps a lot. So Angular. Why Angular? Uh, as I told you, uh, uh, I love Angular the most of the others because it is easy to create. And also because we have the CLI, that's the next uh, slide, uh, to navigate, create easily projects and other features that we could use. So what we have with Angular CLI? Well, we can create with Angular CLI uh, different uh, parts of these big cake, what what would be the project. We can create modules that the modules are like the main uh, the main the main pieces of the cake. I mean we can think of a, uh, a pieces a module can be something that can have uh, uh, the bread, the the marmalade, the 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 chocolate. I mean each each layer it's it's with a, uh, a different component. So it, it is a big part and we can spread the different features by modules. And it's very, very good thing that we will see after. So we have components. I mean, in now, nowadays we know that we don't create uh, um, an element. We can create a, we create a component. I mean, a component could be a page, it could be a main container, it could be a single feature that we can inject in another <clears throat> components. It's a single, a single element, and we have directives. The directives also are um, tools that we can create uh, and use to define some uh, functionality in in the code. We have services that help us to provide a communication between the model layer using HTTP a client, or even help us to provide a, a middleware with the services. We have pipes. Pipes are, are easy uh, elements to help us to uh, cast information. I mean, we can provide an input and the input is taken by the pipe and the input is uh, changed or transformed to another element. I mean, it could be a date, it could be a word that we can, uh, I don't know, change its name to to uppercase, to lowercase. And this, these pipes are only for Angular. I mean, we can create components or modules in another uh, frameworks, but pipes are from Angular. And guards. Guards uh, are uh, are services that help us to provide uh, a security on our routing. Uh, so help us to to verify that if a role uh, in the structure is uh, is protected by a role by uh, um, a different uh, I don't know uh, module or or have. Uh, it should be uh, it should be uh, defined to 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 create a a secure a secure way to to navigate to the, in the application. So well, before this slide, uh, if you want to find any more features, you can go to the page in Lars AO. So. Maybe the main question could be where should I start? Well, in my experience, I can I can tell that uh, there are some key concepts that we need to know that maybe uh, maybe help us to 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 start easier. But it's not only uh, just to take uh, a computer and just write code. Most important part, uh, I think, it's to know what are you going to do i mean you have all elements you don't need to know a, a, a language 100 percent. you just need to to know how to create uh, these these features i mean maybe the most of us uh, uh started from course or, or maybe the college or or university but it doesn't matter you you have the all the tools the main and important part is what i'm going to do yeah, it could be a project, it could be a training, uh, and it doesn't matter 
and it doesn't matter if you don't know everything you need to 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 provide an element that it could be created or generated by piece of paper you know so planning planning from the start and then go to verify how we are going to divide these uh, project or even if we are you are working on a personal project it doesn't matter where you start but just think of what do you want you you, you put you put your ideas on, on a on a paper on your mind uh, on a whiteboard and then start digging so we are going to cover some of the topics but to to back to this to this question is just plan but don't try to have the whole answers for the project no one has i think no one has a 100 response to say okay if you don't start from here you are not covering a good project or you are not creating a good application no i mean each each different uh project each new project is a blank paper so so we are going to give a, a, a key concept or key factors and maybe we can take and we can start from there. Yeah, but don't uh, don't hesitate or or don't fear to start the project from scratch. Yeah. So uh, the key factors, one of them is know your project, as I mentioned. Uh, it is very important before to start to code. I mean, I love to code, but, I, but uh, most of the time I start uh, planning uh, what I need to do and then start to dig in uh, to create, a, I don't know, some bullets to identify my modules. We, we are going to, to, to practice a little bit that. Uh, so I can start about creating that modules and then uh, dividing into components and then separating information from the features, from the, from the main roles, I don't know. So not your project first, and one needs to be covered, and then you start for the future. So pick your tools. Uh, well, this presentation is about focus on, on most Angular, but pick your tools is, okay, I know the project first, so I need now elements, tools. Okay, which is the main tool? I don't know, the language. Okay, I'm taking Angular. I'm taking Angular. Okay, I'm going to use, I don't know, Bootstrap, a Material UI. Uh, okay, I'm using uh, this uh, NPM tools that the uh, libraries that I found to create these. You don't need to, to take everything, but it's like when you go to school and you have your pencil, you grab your your uh, notebook and you have uh, your calculator if needed. So pick your tools and then prepare to dig in a little bit. The finest structure. Uh, well, this is the most important part for the presentation to define the structure. So as I mentioned, <clears throat> you need to know everything. I mean, it, when we, when, I mean, when the project is evolving, we are, uh, we are evolving our project too. I mean, we are upgrading, uh, recreating some elements, getting, getting an acement of a project. Uh, when I started to create applications, I just create components, component, component, component. But then it was a big or or a huge uh, uh, folder structure, not organized, no, not a, uh, not a, uh, not everything was in a module. I mean, it was, it was about eight years ago. I don't remember. <laughs> yeah, but when 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 i started to to create a uh, bigger features or bigger applications yeah you just organize but you you already have that elements so you 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 put an elements in a different folders or recreate these modules to get easier with the navigation uh, or maybe the loading part so the final structure we are this is the exercise we're doing we're defining a structure uh, and maybe it could help us as i as i said before uh we don't nobody knows a perfect recipe yeah but we can start with something build your team okay so maybe most of us are going to create a project by ourselves if it's a personal project but 
you also need to 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 provide a good elements. I mean, if you are going to do everything well, also you need to 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 differentiate which uh, which technologies can be combined. But think of who's who's working with you. I mean, you need to organize when you when you work as a team in an enterprise application. You need to to get uh, to get the to get involved with the team to to design these different patterns or 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 features that are going to be organized or how they are going to be connected. So building a team is a very important thing to 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 know that everyone is creating not as the same but trying to maintain a. a uh, a good design of a software. I mean, everyone has its own uh, way to code, but it is very important to know how you are building this 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 software. So try to to look for best practices. Try to look for how to implement uh, or covering most um, efficient ways to create solutions. I mean, we don't need to create from from the beginning. We can create I don't know some structure. Or, or or some uh, way to define components, and then after the, there is working, you can redefine or refactor. So just be be sure that your team is is going to be or, or or do the same, trying to maintain these easier for you when when you want to to take a work from any other, so you can understand and continue with that feature. Okay, so. I don't know. I know there's more key factors that we could take, but I think for for not to give you too much in, in one in one slide, just select these these four. Okay, so um, one of the things that can possibly help us to create bigger applications enterprise nowadays is how to define uh, the different features or or parts of these projects. I mean, everyone knows libraries, everyone have used NPM library or or maybe from another developer from a project on GitHub or everyone has integrated the different libraries. So, uh, or everyone has worked for the monorepo i think the 80 percent of, of us are working for monorepos or oh, and maybe another part is introducing mfes what is mfes we're going to see next <clears throat> okay so basic from libraries using angular cli it is easy to create i mean when to create libraries a library is a single a single piece of code i mean Library could be someone something to create. I don't know a a, a date a, a date uh, a date picker, you know, the, the ones that you click on the date and then you display maybe a clock or something to select. So maybe maybe you don't want to to work with a big company. You want to create your own libraries and then to help community get donations. Also, it's good for a developer because you because you. When you're more practicing, you are getting better. So there are there are there are teams or or developers that work directly creating libraries, and thank you for that. <laughs> and 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 they're happy doing this. It, it is because to create a library, you can just uh, isolate some some features. So you can help. That. You can think of, of like that to create a uh, picker, to create a toaster, a toaster that can give a feedback when uh, a user selects, I don't know, a success message, and then you click on submit in a form, and then you get a message. Oh, okay, um, success, uh, and give it a message. Uh, the I don't know, the user was created, and then you just uh, hide that. So for this feature, you just create an element and then you publish an npm so this is a, a single command to create that and uh, you can you can find it in on also an angular page and this is a small part you can create also for your own projects if you don't want to put everything in the same project a small repo there's the next slide you can create a couple of libraries if you want sep a separated and then you can uh import and as your project yeah when, when you import it's now you're not package modules so it's not taking uh 
much uh, space in your in your main project. So this is a good part to use in libraries. But it, sometimes it's not uh, it's not uh, a recommendation to use too much libraries, but because uh, also you cannot control everything from that. <clears throat> so monorepos. Everyone has known about the Titanic. What is a monorepo? Well, I put this image to for you to imagine. Monorepos are projects that everything is there. I mean, maybe you have uh, uh, some author library, but everything is working in a single project. If something crashes, the whole project crashes. That's why I put that image. I mean, if you uh, have uh, some... Uh, I don't know, some error in the code and Angular compiles everything and the, the project is not working properly and it, it, even it's not getting built. So a monorepos are a way to, to put everything in the basket and then you just go. And is, if something is not working properly, well, as I know. So there are three things I consider. It, everything is in the right place. I mean, you can put everything you want on your monorepo. This is, is it could be uh, the the routing, the key features, the the guard, the services. So uh, the the good way is that you ensure that everything works together. I mean, um, if you need to change something, you just go to that to that part of the code and then you just update or do some changes and then you just compile and it's okay for a bigger enterprise application it's the most common use monorepos because uh it is a way to 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 help the team to create a bigger applications but the thing is for monorepos uh, a good practice is for a team a, a, a only one team work in a single monorepo. It is maybe not a good part uh, to put a different teams working in the same repo. A repo, I mean, it could be an application. Maybe you are working in an application where there are different teams providing or supporting different parts of this monorepo. It, sometimes, uh, well, most of the time we have uh, some some projects like that. But the easiest, uh, I mean, the hardest way is because maybe someone introduced something and now it's failing for another part. So it's difficult to get uh, organized with the other team. So monorepo, it could be for only one team, the one team that can get support for this monorepo. And, and speaking of this necessity, that's why we introduce, oh, okay, this is many teams, the same repo. Yeah, this is an uh, account. Uh, I mean, it's, uh, it's, it's not the best practice. So that's why we introduce micro front ends or MFEs. Uh, I mean, it's, it's, it's now most used for companies. I mean, uh, it is a, another practice to help to create bigger applications, but in the different small pieces. I mean, why do I use a, an hotel like a, like an image? It is because think of, of uh, to creating a, a, a big application. The big application would be the service. Yeah. The service that the, the hotel gives you when you rent a room. So uh, a part of the project, it could be um, the, the person who takes your back uh, and help you to, to give to you a room. Another uh, person is uh, the person who is in the service when you just uh, call and get, uh, oh, I need food. This is another part of the project to help you, to help to enrich the service. What another thing could be, it could be um, if you go to the restaurant, there's a person that can attend you when you need, I don't know, a coffee. So each of these persons, if you think like a, like a separated project, needs to to have a to have a meal to i don't know to have a rest to have a to have a house to get a salary so everyone is uh every, everyone has its own uh, roles or its own things to get to the hotel to provide you a service so a micro front end is 
it's a single monorepo. I mean, it's it's monorepo, but it's a monorepo that only do something for you. I mean, it, it could be a, a navigation part. I mean, it, uh, uh, it could be a navigation part, but using the same structure as the other smaller repos. And then maybe another mi micro front end of your repo it could be, I don't know, the, the, uh, the for, for example, the dashboard module. The dashboard module could be a micro front end where a, a whole team can work together on that. And maybe another module, it could be, I don't know, the administrator module that maybe could be to manage users, um, to create uh, to create uh, services or another tools that needs to to work parallelly in the project, but they are all together in an enterprise application. So th that's why these uh, these bullet everything work by each part to manage the system. I mean everything is working parallelly to help to help you to get the main thing. Yeah. Uh, for these micro front ends, we can think of uh, many teams working parallelly in many repos. That's a, that's a good part of MFEs. I mean, we can think of a big enterprise that we have a 10 teams and each different team, it's working in a single mono repo that when we build a project or using a pipelines, the project is combined with the other features. So that's why if, if some piece is not working, but maybe the other piece are working, they just wait to that part uh, to, I don't know, to, to, to provide its own support, but it's a team dedicated for that support. Yeah, and not for the, for the whole team and, and, and verify, oh, your part is not working, your part's not working. No, it is because you only focus on only one, only one part of the, of the, of the piece. Mm -hmm. So uh, I think we can have a, a quick practice. Uh, I don't know if anyone have any questions before we do the practice part. Uh, just one interesting question. So can you hear me? Hello? Yeah. 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 Uh, maybe, you know, if we go to the Google Trends and compare the Angular and React, and we see that the React is much more popular today. So what, what, why do you think why? Why is Angular is not so popular? Mm, yeah, well, in my perspective, uh, let me, let me see. Um, it is, it is not much popular because it is. I think it's complicated that then, then to jump on than the others. I mean, then React and Vue. And and what I tell you this is because, uh, Angular. If you can compare the learning curve from I don't know, React to Angular is higher the curve from Angular. It's because maybe you need to, let me jump back to the CLI uh, slide. It is because uh, for React, you just you just uh, create a project or import library, and then you just start to code and create components and reuse. And for Angular, you need to understand what are this, those different parts. So it's, uh, it's uh, it could take you more time to jump on to create Angular than the others, and it's it's why most people don't want to inv invest some time learning about a whole a whole uh, a whole uh, oh, I forgot the word uh, a whole framework because Angular is a complete framework than maybe uh, using just only React. And, and you can see that there's an Next.js, for example. Next.js is a, 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 like a framework because pure pure React is a, a library, but you can use Next.js. And you can think that maybe most of the people they want to jump onto Next.js need to do this as Angular, need to understand how they route, how they use the static props. So I think uh, for these, uh, these search trend that you comment, it is because uh, it is more most popular other one than the other for the learning curve. Okay, okay, thank you. Any other questions?
looks like now. <laughs> okay, so let me reshare my screen to get a single, okay. Okay, give me a sec. Let me oh. okay. Let me share my screen again. Okay, this is a small exercise just to to help you how to provide or create a, a structure. Let me know if you see my screen. It, it's just just to to create some single thing to verify how can we create a structure for for this enterprise application. Okay, so this is a project. Let me add some zoom. I just created. Uh, what can we see here? Okay, we have. We know that for to create an Angular project, we need to use uh, this command, for example, ng new. So uh, for for another um, project, we can use npx. Also, there are other integrations for Angular that you could use npx. But for easier way, we can use with CLI ng new, and you can create your project. So when you create your project, you have something like this. You have the name of the project. This is my folder. Uh, this is the name of your project, and then you have uh, the module that it's installed by default when you create your project. And you have a folder, the source with all the code is there, and you have these three, uh, these two other folders: assets for images or fonts or any other things, and environments when you can set up your environment when you are preparing for production or development. Yeah. And the other elements that help us to configure Angular uh, work as it is. So uh, what we are going to see here, so this is simple. We have the main uh, component, it's called app. So you can see that you have all your code here. So back back to the presentation. So what, could, what would you do? Let me ask you this, what, what would you do where do you want to start? Where where would you would you start? Can anyone say uh, how can we start to designing? Maybe we can think of uh, we are creating um, what could be. Uh, let me think. Like a let the basic project uh, a, a recipe a recipe creation. I mean, we can create a recipes. How can we uh, start? You create components, or you create modules, or you create routing. What would you start? Uh, we just need to uh, create the structure first. So, for example, we may split everything per unit, per feature, per. So it depends on our like code conventions. So the structure of the folder may be different depending on the project. Maybe it's it's not a new project if it's like old project. So we need to continue the current one. But there are a lot of different approaches how to create the structure here. So it's it's where it depends. Yeah, as I mentioned, uh, nobody knows the 100% uh, effective recipe to create a good structure. But we need to think of how can we spread these different elements in a very good structure for us to help us to identify easier ways and also to reuse some code. This is a, this is the main important part. How can we? Uh, how are we going to prepare to reuse these features? So, uh, as uh, as uh, as we we already heard, we could use the CLI to create elements. So, what can I do? Uh, well, I can think of, okay, my application could have 
a modules, as I mentioned, it will have features, it will have uh, services, and some of them will work together. So for that part, uh, well, I can start to think how they are working together. So the, uh, I will create uh, maybe a folder first, where I create uh, my features, for example. And in this folder, I can create the different features, but think a feature like uh, a main component. I can be a good single piece of code that we can reuse in the whole structure. And maybe you can say, okay, why features at the top? Okay, maybe the features are going to share it. Okay, I'm going to create a shared folder and put the features in a shared folder. What can we also share between the project? I have like few, few comments here. So sorry, <laughs> I have a lot of questions. <laughs> yeah, no worries. Yeah, yeah. So, so what about if we hear like share it, not only features, but also components, but also routing and so what, what is the structure for that? Because share it is very like abstract. So we may use share it for the module, for the mm -hmm. component for something else, for utils and so on and so on. So should it be one folder, share it, or mm -hmm. we should have like different folders uh, with the same name, share it, or we should split into the modules. So, yeah. Well, you can do both. I mean, you can create, uh, as, you, as you have you have in your mind, your project. Yeah, think of it like that. You have your mind, your project. Okay, I want to share uh, components, containers, directives, cards, and uh, also pipes, services. So you can do you you can put it in a in a feature. What the feature does, thinking about maybe a library in turn. So maybe features could not be here. Maybe for example, we can we can create in the share. We can create components. And the components is not the whole components. I mean, it, it, it is not, maybe if you think that some shared components, uh, they are not used by the whole, by the whole uh, feature. So maybe you can, <clears throat> I'm sorry, maybe you can think that components, some of the components will be there. What kind of components, maybe a list, maybe uh, how to display a list with a single style, for example. Uh, another component can be the header, for example. I, I mean, you can put in the components part, you can put, I don't know, your core components. I mean, what are your core components? Maybe a header, a footer, maybe it could be a, a, a title or navigation bar, for example, that are shared in whole structure. But also in the components, you can put here our, now, your features. Maybe some of the components, it could be features. So you have your core your core components and your features. And what other thing you can share, for example, you can share also services. And maybe services, they're not to be the, the whole services of the application. It could be the, the most used. That's why we put in a share. I mean, maybe we can uh, put this aside. Let me, sorry to move in again. So maybe you can think on a feature like, Okay, uh, maybe uh, some feature, it could be uh, recipe creation. And recipe creation, you, you can see the recipe creation. It, it, it could be um, a, a creation, an update, or delete. So maybe a feature, for example, we can create a component using CLI. It's, it's uh, using ng create a component. So the easy way is ng create component and cc, and then the name of the component. So you can put feature, for example, and you can put recipes. Oh. It's generate, I'm sorry, generate component. Um, why is it not working? Let me generate component. Does it not wake up yet? Uh, the wrong folder you have to oh, go inside yeah. in the presentation. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Thank you. Okay, you can generate a component. Uh, you can think of recipes, it could be a feature. I mean, recipes, it would be the part when you have your creation, your update, and your uh, your deletion. Uh, so you can think that recipes is only part of the project. Maybe other, other part, it could be um, 
uh, I don't know, the delivery, for example. So you can generate another feature like kind of delivery when you just navigate in, in, a, in, a, in a system and you have your feature. So for example, you have a single element called feature and then in the recipes, you see that maybe not all the services shared between the whole application will be, uh, uh, I'm sorry, let me say it again. In in the recipe, you can have maybe services, I mean, that, that can help just only the recipes and not the whole project. That's why maybe you can put a services in the share folder and a services in your component. This is a main feature. So maybe you can, you, you will think that you can create a services, for example, in the recipes and also a components in your recipes. What is the difference to put it in the share than the feature? It is because the recipes components are only used in your feature and not in the whole structure. I don't know, you get me? Yep. So, so, so let's think that maybe the folders are called the same, but they have different purposes because a component inside of the recipes feature won't be shared with delivery maybe. And if it's shared, you can create the components in your, in your share folder. So maybe you will have here components and instead of saying delivery, you can say features feature and maybe in the features you will share a component that between them are using the same and for that you create a, a module that can be exported and imported in both of them or even a single feature so that's why maybe we we can think of okay how am i supposed to create the correct structure it is not you you can you can do both you can you can Start from, from creating maybe your features and then maybe you can just uh, move it and put it as share where the most that used. Yeah. Another thing that we can share commonly is directives or even pipes. Pipe could be, it could be a single pipe that maybe, uh, maybe we, most of the things used in the whole project or structure is dates, you know, uh, the dates, date here, date there. And, and we know a uh, moment, we know that JavaScript has its own uh, date feature. So, but some of the cases we need to cast the date in a single way. I mean, we we for us maybe the the date it could be I don't know for the whole dates we need to cast to a specific uh, format that maybe it is not in the library. I mean, uh, you can you can think of uh, moment has its own way to convert dates, but you want to put the date and also you want to put uh, I don't know the. <clears throat> the role of the user. So you just uh, create a pipe and just pass the parameters and then this will cast or even even the name has its own structure. I mean, it could be, uh, you can pass the whole uh, name and then you just want to see the first name and the initial of its last name. So maybe this will be used in the whole project. So that's why you put maybe the five, you, you can think of put the pipes folder in a shared structure. So. And also, its own its own feature has its own pipes. So, what what can we see here? We can see that maybe uh, I'm sorry. Here's features, features. Oh, oh, it's already in the same. I I wrote it. Yeah, I wrote it bad. Yeah, this folder does it need to exist. Yeah, uh, what can what can we see here? That that the the maybe some folders are repeated. Maybe the structure uh, it, it is uh, still confusing. But what can we do here? Is that uh, you you put your elements separated in different in different parts of a structure, and it's and it is uh, as as I I'm, I'm hearing from you that you know that everything is not just creating components in the main folder, 
So what what other thing can can we have here? It is uh, uh, components pipes. Okay, for what we have, maybe we we can we can uh, we can use this structure. And for example, you have your uh, recipes I mentioned. What can be the components of a recipe? It could be. Let me. For example, in the recipes, we can uh, have feature in the features and you generate component features and then recipes and then in the components part we can create a, create recipe create for example so in the recipes part we will have the recipe creation, the recipe update, and the recipe delete. So we put in, in this uh, component, the make component, the routing in these recipes, and then export the whole feature. Yeah. And then maybe the feature will be in a in a in a in another page that maybe we will have here that it could be, I don't know, uh modules. For example, when you will put admin module, uh, user module, for example, let me just create to have reference. And in these different modules, you will import your different features here and just use whenever it, it should be used. And if it's shared for everything, maybe you can create um, could be shared a main. For example, main shared module. And then you can export the whole features that will be uh, shared between them, but it uh, but they are also in, the, in a different folder. I mean, this will help you to not uh, have uh, uh, one. You can, you will have a module for each, each this one, but the, those of our shared, you can put it is here. Well, I don't know if I'm giving you too much confusion about this. Sorry. Maybe you can you can ask uh, a, a specific question. 